carry on as you walk across the draft stage. You grab the mic and you address the city of Detroit, your new home. After you hear the embrace of the Lions fans, what do you want to help this city accomplish? I want to win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I feel like they had that one missing piece. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm that missing piece. A couple months ago at the Combine, you proclaimed you're going to be a Hall of Famer. Okay. How does that confidence translate into Detroit secondary? Oh, man. Like... Already my guy Brian Branch is in the secondary, mm -hmm. but uh, just amazing guys that you can learn from. And uh, not to only mention, man, I feel like with uh, St. Brown, I mean, and Jamison Williams, like you're going against two premier receivers mm -hmm. who are going to make me better every day. Yeah, you're mentioning Alabama guys already. Three drafts in a row, Detroit takes an Alabama player in the first round. Jamison Williams is one, Jameer Gibbs the other. What is Alabama preparing you for the next level? Oh, a fierce competitor. Yeah. I mean, playing at Alabama, you get everybody's best. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with going into Detroit. Like, I've already been prepared for moments like this. I mean, I couldn't help but just grab the mic because I was like, I'm home. Like, I'm home, baby. So, I mean, just being at Alabama and being under Coach Saban's mm -hmm. guidance and stuff, it's preparing me for stuff like mm -hmm. this. What do you know about Detroit, Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, and, and this city that you've just now been embraced by? Well, when I met with him, AG, defensive mm -hmm. coordinator, he was like, Man, you know, we might have to trade up to get you, man, but I hope I get a chance to coach you. And, you know, he was blessed to be the 12th pick. Coach Saban actually <laughs> took somebody else over him. And then, you know, just being around him, that mentorship and him playing cornerback, mm -hmm. when he first saw me, he asked, what makes you different? I was like, Coach, you know I'm him. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, he was like, man, I like your confidence. I can tell when somebody pretending. So him, Brad, man, and then Coach, like, when he called me, it was just like, I'm ready to work, Coach. Yeah. Like, I feel like Detroit, like, well, I can't even say I feel like Detroit. I feel like we yeah. should have to take that next step. Mm -hmm. On the red carpet, your mom was with you. You made an, an emphasis to have her here with you. What does that support mean, and what does 24th overall mean to your family too? Kobe. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Kobe, he was one of the greatest to ever do it, so I contributed to that. Mm -hmm. I want to be one of the greatest to ever do it, and I feel like I got that mama mentality when it comes to my work ethic. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Terion. Thank you.